Thanksgiving. Hi, Hi Missy. Hi, Thunderbird. Today, we are going to have a virtual field trip to my place. Right now, like you see, we are here at school and ready to get to the school. Okay, students, now let's explore inside the building. All right, before you get into the Maimon Palace, you have to take off your shoes or sandals. Right, if you enter this building, you will see the color on the walls is primarily yellow. You can see that. Hi, this is the throne. As you can see, the color is dominated with gold and yellow. And behind this throne, there is palanquin. Let's check it out. This is the palanquin that was used to carry Sultan. And here are some ceramic utensils from Egypt. And this is the old chair of Sultan and his wife. And here are some knives of Sultan. Each knife has its own name written on a piece of paper. Next, we also can see some collection of Sultan. And now, let's move to another room. We can see here some musical instruments that was used to entertain Sultans. There are self here to store some books. Now, it's your turn to pay attention to your English local word set. There are some question words What, who, where, when, why, how, and how much There are three questions on your worksheet You can choose the correct question word Then answer the question based on your virtual field trip Do your best, okay? Students, here are the photos of some of the sultans that have lived here at Maimun Palace.
Sultan who stay here is the Sultan Mahmud Arya Lamanjici. He was born in Makassar. He is the youngest Sultan and he has ruled from the year 2005 until now. That means he's been the Sultan for 16 years. Students, now I'm going to have interview with one of the workers who record the data of visitor every day. I want you to pay attention and listen carefully for the data so you can do your maths worksheet. Let's find the workers. Hi guys, I'm here with Mr. Nurdin. He is the one who walk here to record the data of the visitors every day. Here, listen carefully how many uh, visitors that visit this Maimun Palace every day. Pak, kira-kira satu setiap hari Senin ada berapa pengunjung ya, Pak? Setiap hari Senin dia nggak nentu. Yeah. Cuman dia perkiraan itu sampai kayak 200 tamu, mungkin bisa lebih. Yeah. Cuman normalnya 200 tamu. Oke. Okay. Uh, actually, for the visitors, the numbers of the visitor is not always the same. But, uh, for right now, he has the data. For Monday, there are 200 visitors. 200 visitors. On Tuesday, hari Selasa, Pak? Kalau hari Selasa, dia nggak jawab beda. Bisa 200, bisa lebih. Bisa 250 ribu. Oke. Okay. Oh, uh, 250. 250. On Tuesday, there are 250 visitors. 250 visitors. Hari Rabu, Pak? Hari Rabu juga tidak jauh beda hampir sama. Yang membedakan itu di hari weekend, Sabtu okay. Minggu. Sabtu Minggu ya. Oke, okay. on Wednesday is also around about 200 and 250 visitors. Uh, same also with uh, Thursday. On Thursday, the visitors also around 200 or 300 visitors. Uh, and Friday, kira-kira hari Jumat itu berapa ya, Pak? Hari Jumat bisa mencapai 300-an tamu. Okay. On Friday, there are 350 visitors. 350 visitors. Saturday, hari Sabtu? Sabtu bisa mencapai 400 tamu, kadang 300 tamu. Agak lebih sedikit. Saturday, because Saturday is weekend, so the, the visitors come on many, many from the usual day. So there are hundred visitors on Saturday. Hari Minggu? Hari Minggu karena hari weekend agak lebih ramai. Bisa 500, bisa 600. And the last on Sunday there are 600 visitors came here to visit this palace and this is the huge number a week. Thank you guys. So now please fill your match watch and find the data and you can repeat again the data again thank you and see you now let's explore outside you can see the view of the garden from veranda which means the Sultan could always see what was happening outside. If you walk along through the veranda, you can see boards about information of the Sultan. Now let's move to the right side of the veranda. We will visit the Taronis traditional house. Let's see what is inside. This is what we call Mariam Puntung. According to the history, this was used in the war between Aru Kingdom and Aceh Kingdom. As we learn at 
with science, we have five senses. They are sense of touch, skin, sense of hearing, ear, sense of sight, eye, sense of taste, tongue, and sense of smell, nose. And we can use all the senses to explore the world. Like here, I can hear many sounds, like the sounds of cars and motorbikes. I can hear it because I use the sense of hearing. I can see some cars and motorbikes uh, with the help of my sense of sight. Well, in this place, it feels very hot and I need something to drink. On my hand, I have a bottle of coffee and I want to drink this. This coffee tastes sweet. How do I know it? I know it's sweet because of my sense of taste. Well, on your worksheet, there are two questions. So you write three things that you can see and three things that you can hear. Okay, that's all and see you. Baik, sebelumnya kita sudah belajar mengenai apa saja peraturan-peraturan yang berlaku di tempat wisata. Salah satunya adalah peraturan-peraturan yang ada di e, Istana Maimun itu sendiri. Nah, Mr. Batasi sekarang akan menjelaskan apa saja sih peraturan-peraturan yang berlaku di Istana Maimun ini. Ya, Yang pertama adalah saat kamu masuk di dalam istana, kamu harus melepaskan sepatu maupun sendal kamu. Hal ini dikarenakan untuk menjaga kebersihan saat kamu berada di dalam istana tersebut. Kemudian, eh, kamu juga tidak diperbolehkan untuk menyentuh barang-barang yang ada di sekitar di dalam istana tersebut. Ya, termasuk juga duduk di beberapa kursi-kursi yang tidak diperbolehkan. Ya. Nah, peraturan berikutnya adalah saat kamu berada di istana, diharapkan untuk tidak eh, apa, tidak ribut ya, atau, atau berteriak ya, agar dapat menghargai ataupun dapat menciptakan suasana hening saat kamu berada di dalam istana mereka. Kemudian, nah, jika kamu lihat di sini ada sebuah pelangnya terpampang di sini di mana dikatakan buanglah sampah pada tempatnya. Ya, jadi sangat diharapkan sekali saat kamu berada di daerah kawasan istana Maimun kamu hendaknya tidak boleh membuang sampah sembarangan. Nah, sekarang coba perhatikan worksheet PKN kamu. Tuliskan tiga peraturan-peraturan yang berlaku di Istana Maimun. Nah, kamu sudah menyaksikan banyak hal yang menyenangkan dari video field trip ini. Sekarang, tuliskan lima kalimat tentang hal yang menyenangkan yang kamu dapatkan dari video field trip ini. today we hope you enjoy learning about the Maimun Palace and if you have time you can visit the palace with your family see you bye, bye. along through the veranda you can see boats uh, you can see boats about information okay if you walk along through the ini tanganku kok lupa ya well in your worksheet there are two questions so now you do it write something that sorry bang nomor bang now It's your turn to pay attention to your English local worksheet. There are some question words there. You can sorry pak, lupa. 
Kok lupa tanganku ini? Tadi bagus. Tadi gini, tadi gini. Siap ini gini.